Brendan Bates and I work for uh, the IBM Corporation in software sales. You know, my, my day consists of a massive amount of email and same time communications. Uh, we use Lotus Notes at, um, at IBM, which is how I kind of got involved with e-productivity. You're a Lotus Notes user? How do you like Lotus Notes? Um, you know, just always kind of in the corporate world that we've been, that I've been in for the last 10 years, just always kind of had it. Before that, um, you know, it was, it was Outlook. So I, I was never really partial to whether or not I liked it or not. It was just kind of a necessary evil. Recently, you started using a product called eProductivity. Why? I saw eProductivity when it's a tool maybe I could use to help myself get organized in the day and begin to activity eyes, if that's a word, things or product, uh, projectize things. And that's kind of how I kind of got into it. I just kind of thought it would be interesting. Yeah. So, how long have you been using productivity? Uh, a little under a year, about nine months. And how do you like it? What, what, what difference has it made? I can't really even envision the day now without it become the way you work, not something you do or a tool that you use. It kind of just takes over Lotus Notes and it allows me to, um, to work in this fashion where I'm just confident that everything I need to get done is getting done. So, explain to me how you use it. Wh it what is it? Yeah, well, so, so it's like a, the best way to, to, uh, to describe it is like a face on top of Lotus Notes, right? So, um, or a skin on top of Lotus Notes. And it's got all these buttons and different things you can do and functions you can use. Um, in our world, we've gotten so, uh, you know, um, mechanical in the way we interact even with people even in sales I mean we would like to think that sales is a personal interaction type thing but in reality we do 90 or 80 percent of our business just via communication it's just a communication mechanism and so the better the more efficiently and the, um, and the better I can communicate with somebody you know mechanically the more effective I can be in sales and the better I can manage all that communication activity um, the better I'm gonna be in sales the more money I'm gonna make that's the nature of sales so what e-productivity e allows me to utilize emails as they come in as activities or pro products or projects, I mean, or elements of those and link them together, um, file them properly, put them into buckets where and, and, and set um, you know, alarms and, uh, and reminders and things on them so that I never forget anything. And, and when, I, when I come in in the day, um, there is a set of tasks that productivity has put out there for me to do that I know are the things that are going to make me productive for that day and, and they're in buckets and they're prioritized and, and I can just basically go through and click through and if new emails come in during the day as they do or communications of some sort I just drag them into the right project or the right action that I'm supposed to be doing I can put uh, you know uh, timers on them or whatever and file them away and then the system will remind me oh you, you need to do this before the day's out click on it and or put it off to the next day or whatever it is so is it a lot of work to set this up? Does it, do you have to spend hours every day creating lists and things that you're supposed to do? It's, it's funny because I installed it and I didn't do anything with it for like the first month, knowing that I, at some point I should go and, because I was thinking that exact same thing, I need like a day here to figure this thing out, right? Um, even though I'd watched the video, it's always that kind of just that software guy mentality that this is going to take me a day to figure it out, so I need to set aside. And finally, when I just made it work, it, it was just like handling email as normal, except, except rather than the email just sitting in your box with a little unread star next to it or getting pushed down to the point where you forget about it, you're actually just dragging it into a bucket. And so you could realize, I still don't, I mean, many people that use e-productivity talk about, you know, this empty inbox type thing. My inbox isn't empty. I still haven't gotten that far down the list yet. But I was even thinking today, this morning, I'm f way further down into like last week's emails um, because I'm not, I'm not as perfect. I mean, I don't, I don't go through my inbox all the time and get everything out of there because, you know, I still hang on to bad old, old habits and stuff like that. But anyways, um, so no, it's not hard to work and it's not hard to set up. It just, you just got to do it. So what difference has it made to you? The biggest difference is just kind of peace of mind, I think. Just knowing that there isn't an email somewhere down underneath my screen, past the screen that I can't see somewhere in the 231 unreads that hasn't been dealt with or hasn't been attached to an action or hasn't been attached to a project. Um, the way I look at it from sales is, is every opportunity that I have at a customer, I've got four or five customers, and each one of those customers has different sales opportunities in there, or different streams, projects is what they're called in, in e-productivity. 
Um, and so I'll just, when something new pops up, you know, I've got this, this project, this sales opportunity at this customer. When an email comes in, I'll just drag it over there, drag it over there. Um, if it's something that I really need to respond to, I'll put a little timer on it. Remind me tomorrow to make sure I do this. And so the biggest, the biggest thing that it's, it's provided me is just kind of just peace of mind and this ability to understand and know that everything's taken care of. Gee, so it sounds like I could just set up some folders in, in Lotus Notes for each project. And I'd do the same thing. If it's more than that, because I thought the exact same thing. And then actually when Lotus 8 came out, I thought, oh, activities. I'll just start using activities. And by the way, activities are so great because I can share them with other people and we can collaborate on activities. It's, yeah, it's not like that. It's, it's not activities. It's, it's the projects and the actions that are the difference. These aren't just things that I need to do or to do's in Lotus Notes or whatever, or drag an email in a folder. Um, it's the, it's the, it's the automation behind the engine that is connected to every one of these emails now. So every email becomes an element or an individual task or product project, right? That has an that has a workflow or an, or an action, an automation behind it, and that's what eProductivity does. And to dos and activities and Lotus Notes and folders don't do that. And I still file full. I still file things in folders, you know. Um, I'll tell you another one of the big advantages. Golly, we've got uh, quotas on our mailboxes, and I get you know the, the the mailbox police emailing me all the time. Or used to. Now I don't anymore. And the fact that eProductivity is a is a separate replica and allows me then to take stuff out of my big box and uh, and put it over into this local replica, um, but not lose it, not delete it, or archive it, or forget about it, or anything is is a huge advantage too. That's another big mind kind of easing thing.